Dynamic content allows you for you to create templates that are populated dynamically from the backend. In this quick demo tutorial, I show you the entire process so that you will be prepared to set up and design a category page template for your blog within the DV Team Builder. Once you finish designing your custom layout, you simply replicate its format to every post you would like to apply to. This tutorial is for everyone who needs to organize the data, for everyone who needs to improve user experience, and for everyone who wants to increase conversion rate. Welcome back, my name is Natalie, a YouTube channel where I help you grow your business. Let's preview what I'm going to recreate in this tutorial. I'm displaying my custom template assigned to post categories. At the top, you find my sticky social media icons grouped together. The blog posts are displayed in a beautiful modern grid layout. And at the bottom, I got a post slider module showing posts and a clear bright divider. Let's redo this together. It's pretty easy within the DV Team Builder. I have already created my blog posts with categories assigned to them. I'm running an online coaching business. WordPress categories are a very convenient way to organize posts. You can have parent and child categories making hierarchical arrangements. In addition, one post can be placed in more than one category. I'm gonna add a new category as an example. So from your WordPress dashboard, go to Posts and then Categories. On the left side of the page, you will see a tab allowing you to create categories. On the left side of the page, access your Posts Categories and then I fill in my new category name, which is Web Search. The slug is also Web Search and then I click on the Add New Category button. Once it's done, you find the new category to the right hand side. You don't need to click on any button to publish or to update. Now you just need to write a new post assigning this new category from the WordPress editor. So I click on the head new post. The title is web. To the right hand side, all you have to do is to assign this blog post to your new category. So from the category panel, I select web, I click on the default editor to add the content, added some Larry Ipson text as well, um, as well as my feature is image. And finally, click twice on the publish button as you are watching. Let's preview, go back to the WordPress dashboard, posts list, and there you have it. As for needing tools, I'm only using the DV theme. No additional plugins, no add-ons. Whenever a user browses my blog posts, I want to display all posts with that specific category. Let's say, for instance, my user clicks on the coach category, he will be able to easily find all the posts with the, cat the coach category, and so forth. Now comes the most exciting tutorial part. We begin the template within the DV Builder. Navigate to DV, Team Builder tabs. Then click the empty gray box area to start creating the template. Next, assign the template to all category pages. And then click Create Template. Next, simply click on the Head Custom Body option and then on Build Custom Body. Afterwards, click on the build from scratch. First, I want to bring out the archive title. So, within the template layout editor, I create a new one column row within a regular section. After, I add a text module to the row. Delete the default body content and click now on the Use Dynamic Content icon. 
Select the Post Archive title option. Once it's in place, open up the settings by click clicking on the gear icon. We're gonna use the inline dynamic content option. So for the before, I type in H1. After, I leave, leave before an empty space and then type in stories, H1. This means that the, stati the static word stories is added after the title. Once the dynamic content is ready, we, st we stylize it. In the design tab, heading fonts, I went for the cabin fonts and in bold. My text color is a dark gray. Text size, I go with 48 pixels for desktop. As for mobiles, I want a 38 pixels for tablets and 28 for phone devices. The line height is 1 am. Now I had a new one column row under the current top row. So click on the green plus icon, add the social media follow module. In the content tab, I had my social channels as Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Below I had my solid blue, blue background color. In the design and spacing section, I had 20 pixels. In the advanced tab, scroll effects section, I set mine to stick to top, no offset. And I enable also the two options below. Then click on the green button to apply my settings. Now, whenever a user scrolls down the page, my social channels are always sticky to the top so that my user easily shares my content. I want to use the blog module to display posts for the current category dynamically. Had a new one column row under the social media module, had a blog module to the row. My settings are Posts for current page, yes, and this is an important step. It allows the category page to pull in the right post archive. Show read more button, yes. Within the elements section, I activate all the options except the show comment count. Scroll up to define the layout inside the design tab. My layout is a grid. And scroll down to title text. I set mine to default and to a bold one. The text color I set mine to a dark gray. The title text size is 20 pixels. I've made a few style tweaks text color, padding and box shadow, among others. I want to take this one step further. I want to use the post slider module to pull in dynamically my four most recent posts in the current category. Therefore, we need to add a new one column row below. I had the post slider module. I update my settings, no content, three, I only got three posts for each category, that's why. My offset number is one, show, mat, show post meta, no, in the element section below I enable all of them, arrows, controls and read more button. I don't want to show my post matter, so I say no. And below we have the option to whether to display or not the feature image. I go with yes. The placement below I set mine to a left. Inside the background panel I set my dark blue color to match my design. In the design tab text, I go with H2, left align, text color light, 
title text is default and the weight is ultra bold text color is white my button background I set mine to a lighter blue color and finally before wrapping things up let's make a few touch-ups to my template so went up to my blue section settings just click on the gear icon inside the design tab I activate the divider to bottom in the divider style I go with this one and then I update my settings the divider color is my dark blue color and the, divi the divider height is 50 pixels the arrangement I want underneath section content don't forget that to leave the DV Builder click on the green button and then on the X icon at the top and then on the green button again To view the final result, go to the WordPress dashboard, navigate to Post Categories, then click to view one of the existing categories. Here's the final result. Beautiful. I like it a lot. That's it. Great. You've made the magic come true. Now you know how to make a category archive page template for your blog posts. If you have any questions about this content, make sure to ask them in the comments below. If you got value from this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a like down below. I see you in my next video. My name is Natalie. Bye!